I got 100 players from my Twitch chat and put them in this random 100 by 100 world. They're gonna have to try and recreate the entire Dream SMP as best as they can from memory. And this got so intense, it's crazy. This stream is essentially, it's going to be divided into two parts. I will tell you what the second part is when we get to it, because I feel like telling it now would kind of spoil the event, kind of, just a little bit. What the first part will be is, you're gonna get this world with all of its resources and the other little additions that me and the other mods have made, right? And we're gonna see how accurately you can recreate the Dream SMP. That could be with a build, that could be with a roleplay, that could be with something else. Now, PvP is on. Uh-oh, everyone's just gonna start sweating and killing each other. No, because if you build the best thing, you will get a distinct advantage in the second half of the event. I will also be giving stuff to people who are funny with a haha -ha funnies. Yes, yes, we're kind of funny, we're kind of quirky. Should we turn the whitelist off, guys? There we go. We have people. Also, be careful because your deaths will be important. After I explained the premise to the stream, twitch.tv slash animagician, by the way, the players started gathering up the materials and some really basic structures started to pop up. We've got people mining, I think. Ready, Ender Dragon and Ash Logic walking around with sticks, based. Welcome to the place where men could go and emancipate. Oh, he's Wilbur. Holy shit, he's Wilbur. Holy shit, guys. It's Fundy. Fundy, why aren't you in Lamanberg? What happened, Fundy? Did your dad kick you out again? The cock shed. Will the cock shed work? Oh? Oh? <gasps> Wait, there's no water. There's no wa- Disgraceful. Also, every player had only three canonical lives, after which they would be banned, which is why there was a death counter at the side of the screen. There was one problem, though. You see, even though I spawned in, like, three billion cows before the event, they all despawned, so players started starving. Since I was in creative mode and had unlimited food, I just gave- No. <laughs> no. I forced them to do what I wanted for food. Perfect. Whoever can build the prime path first, they will get food dispensed to them on that path. Wilbur, Schlatt, are they dead? F to pay respects. I'm pressing F to pay respects right now. Oh, people are destroying the prime path. <gasps> what is this? I mean, if the prime path is destroyed, then I can't give them food. If you look at the side of the screen, you can see that I'm Socks. I'm just gonna TP to them. How did you die three times already? As hard as it is for me to do. Socks, can we get some 07s, chat? 07, 07. They're gone. The first band canonically schlatt. The prime path got destroyed, so I decided to give the players an easier task for food, just to see how quick they could really work. If the Lamanberg Kamarvan is recreated here in the next five minutes, then everyone gets food. Let's see, what's this? Tommy's house, built by Mushroomier and Icarus. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. It's nothing big right now, but I believe it will uh, do well. Okay, let's go over here. Let's check what's- oh my god. Oh, th this is Kamarvan, I see. We have- s s uh, sort of a sausage, maybe? I don't know. Let's look inside. Drugs. Oh, what? There's TNT. Huh? If this guy's blown up, they won't get food. They still had some time before the Kamar van had to be inspected, though, and as I was flying away, a chat member raised an extremely good point. Wilbur doesn't like armor. True, actually. Why are you wearing armor if you're Wilbur, dude? If you're Wilbur, you shouldn't be wearing armor. Take your armor off. Oh, signed. Fine. Nice. Spider. Spider. What happened, man? What happened? Silver killed you. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, though, I'm- There's- there's nothing I can do. Can we get some 07s for spider? Chat, 07s- Oh my god, they're going out, they're going out! We're, we're gonna have to ban them, we're gonna have to ban them! We're gonna have to ban them, quick! They're gone. After this, I started getting some, uh, requests from the players. I think I gave them what they wanted, though. Hogman, oh, you want me to bless this bush? Okay. I've blessed it by twerking on it. Perfect. Twerking equals blessing? Of course. Of course. Oh, you wanna do lore. You wanna do a little bit of lore? Hold on, okay. I know what I'll do. If you want a feather, I will spawn a copious amount of chickens, but they're all up here on this platform. All your feathers are up here. Before I could do any more though, someone said in chat that they had a secret plan, a plan that would help them break the event and win the second round. What is your secret plan, my man? Oh, <gasps> Ender Pearl? I see. Can you Ender Pearl outside the border? Can you do this? <gasps> oh my god. I mean, to be fair, when you go outside the border, you can't do anything. So you will be stuck out there forever. Hmm, interesting. Oh my god, things are happening fast. This is crazy. What's happening over here? Annie Catboy, official. Is this the altar? I'm not a griefer, okay? But I'm just gonna leave that here. Oh my, it's me. Holy shit, I'm on the Dream SMP. Finally. Oh wait, this is actually becoming a thing. This is actually becoming the, the community house for Technically. Let's help. Let's help out a bit. Let's give them some more spruce. Somehow, even more people managed to die in this time, so we made sure to give them the proper send-off. Someone is on three deaths. Oh! <gasps> EP Ammunition Blazing Obsidian. What happened here? Oh, It looks like we're saying goodbye to another person. Blazing Obsidian has poison. Gone.
Then, however, my clone, you remember from earlier? Yeah, he showed up and I noticed something. There was one crucial difference between my skin and his. He had cat ears. He was part of the Catboy Church, the same church, which you'll remember, I tried to blow up. Hello, me. My mistake here, dear viewer, was not fully killing him, was not getting rid of him. You'll see why in a second. Can't believe I joined the real Dream SMP. Agreed. Oh my god. Hold on. Silver Spartan? What are they doing over here? This is church. They're doing church prime? Take some glass. So true. Guys, if you- Guys, guys, if you have a- if you have a- I'm joking. L. More three deaths? Oh. Flash TP. XC449. What, what happened? What happened? While I was listening to XC's tale, however, another chat member had a really interesting suggestion. I say that you should make a revive book. You'll see what happens in the in the second half. Smack videos on four. What? Again? Goodbye. Sorry. No. 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 Oh, I, I won't let it happen. I won't let it happen. With the Catboy Truthers finally thwarted, I started looking at some of the structures the players had made, and some of them were pretty amazing. While doing that, though, I stumbled upon a makeshift graveyard dedicated to the players we had lost, and, uh, some other interesting dead things. Me rip Mexican dream. <laughs> rip the egg of plot. No. No. Oh, and we have the start of the, the, the thing. Call me in its house. Lore, lore, lore. Okay. Wall. Crazy. Oh, we have the schlack podium. It's almost done, I think. S for schlack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tiny Leman tree. Tiny Kamarvan. Small Wilbur. Welcome to Little Lemanberg. So true. After I was done looking at Tiny Lemanberg, though, I got a very interesting message in chat from a player named Tiger. Apparently, they had stumbled across something I had only meant to reveal in the second half of the stream. Apparently, they had found their revival book. Let's go to Tiger. Let's see. What revive book do you have then? Throw it on the ground, throw it on the ground. I want jukebox. Done. Give me the book. Nice. Now that I had the revival book, however, it was time to cause some chaos. Wait, there's a chest up there. First person to get this chest decides one person to be revived. Okay, they're going towards it, they're going towards it. They just have to break it. If Nipster and him work together, they'll be- Oh no, he's not working together with Nipster, Jesus. Oh, they both fell off! Okay, Nightmare is- Nightmare is currently at the top. Oh my god, Pro C4TR has diamond armor. Wait, is that the- No, no, he's, he survives, he's in the water. And he's blocked off the water so the people below can't get to him. He just needs to mine this, he just needs to mine this in time and he gets the revive book. But Nightmare is on the way, Nightmare is on the way. Will he get it before Nightmare gets to him? No, he won't, he won't. Will he land in the water? He will, he will. Oh, it's Skirt, Sketch versus- Oh, both, both of them fell off, both of them fell off. The person at the top now is still pro. And he has a- He has a diamond- He has a diamond pickaxe. As a diamond pickaxe? Are they working together? No, they aren't, they aren't. He has a diamond axe as well. I think Night Pro is gonna get it. No! Icarus is back! From from the from the very start! Oh wait, there's not that much water left down there. Icarus died! Icarus died to that! Icarus is dead! They're stacked, X-ray? Alright, you know what? We're gonna give you a diamond sword to help deal with the fact that Pro has that much stuff. Wait, no, they're protecting it! They don't want anyone to have the revive book. With Sketch protecting the revive book, I decided to look about the server a bit more, and I found some pretty crazy builds. Oh, they actually built the community house. Thank you guys for helping, Navy Snow. Yo, this is sick, dude. Egg. Egg. Dude, it's the egg pyre. Because there, there was a mesa over here, and they managed to get- Oh my god, incredible, incredible. Good job, guys, good job, good job. Let's see, logs each other, <laughs> nice. And he's got the Tommy's- Tommy has a- Tom, Tommy has a unibrow. After spending about five minutes looking about, however, I decided to check back on the revive book, and it was a good idea that I did. The revive book still has not been accessed. Gertz is just defending it. Oh wait, no, they're accessing it, they're accessing it. Is anyone else coming? <gasps> oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. And there's lava down there. Sketch is- Sketch got it! Sketch got the revive book! Who do you want to revive? Socks! <gasps> Remember, Sox was the first person to get banned on the server, and by this point he had become a sort of legend, with a shrine even dedicated to where he had died. There you go, they're unbanned. They're back, they have all three lives. <gasps> Sox is back! Pandora Vault, built by Suboku. Holy shit, I'm Dweeb! I'm Dweeb! <gasps> Wolf Gamer, official Technoblade. Let's give them... Oh my god! <laughs> the Warden! The Warden! The Warden! The Warden! 
Who wouldn't go then? After that jailbreak, so much for Techno Never Dies, huh? I decided to move to phase two of the stream. This is where things started to get crazy. Would you say, chat? Say yes in chat if you think we've done a recreation of the Dream SMP to some quality. Yeah? Yes, 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 yes. So now, chat, we go to the, to the second phase of this game. We need to go to the people who built the best recreations. So, Freddia and Dragon, you get a diamond chest plate, that, and that. Great podium. Good job. You did a great job. Good podium. Take your gear. You're gonna need it. Let's go see Church Prime. Oh, Church Prime is... Church Prime is looking kind of pog, I'm not gonna lie. But you know how the Dream SMP has a lot of uh, chaos that, that goes on in the server? What we're gonna be doing, chat, is we're going to be recreating that chaos. First off, we're gonna slash effect give every single player in the game poison. And the last player standing, guys, the last player standing wins. I'm Socks is dead again. Oh my god, Socks, you got revived and you're still dead. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is this is just what J Schlatt did. This is the this is the J Schlatt heart attack, dude. Okay, let's affect clear all. You guys survived. Now, chat, we're gonna we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing some uh, other events from the Dream SMP. Yeah. Doomsday. TNT. This is just how it goes, you know? Then, I had an idea. You see, spawning TNT and like placing it and lighting it up, that was getting tedious. It wasn't destructive enough to satisfy my zoomer attention span. So I, uh, you know what? You'll, you'll see what my idea was. It's it, like, look, look, it sounded great to me at the time, okay? I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Set block TNT. That work? Oh, oh my god, the lag. You're lagging? No way. You're lagging? Why would you be lagging? The server is gonna crash now. I'm sure, we'll be fine. Oh no! Oh no! What happened here? Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I think I think the server might be having some issues. Oh, the server crashed! After the server crash, however, I decided to get things moving even faster. It was now a complete free-for-all, and the world border was going to slowly push the players together. Remember, the last player standing wins, and we still had about 80 left. Now, chat, all PvP is allowed, everything is allowed. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do slash world border, add minus 10. It's shrinking. Right now, you can see it going one block every two seconds. We're gonna keep shrinking the border. We're gonna keep shrinking the border. How are you alive? Haven't you been here from the start with no armor? 50 players remain. Oh god. Hello, real Oh, no! I'm so sorry, I didn't think you'd die. Ash Swag was slain by Persona fight. People are dying. People are dying. Oh my god, Miskat is enchanted gear. It's just people with no armor. 40 players remaining. Let's see, Persona fight has somehow got gear, I think, from people's dead body. We're gonna slash give at a diamond chest plate. Equalize the playing field a little bit. 13 blocks wide. We're forcing you all close together. We're gonna give you all diamond axes. I think Mr. Lucky has the right idea here. Everyone is going to die on the ground. I think some people are still underground. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. They are. They're gonna die because of the border. They couldn't get out fast enough. Oh no. 20 players remain. Oh no. They fell in a hole. Oh, that's an L. I'm so sorry. Kelly just got crit out by Personified who had nothing. Okay, I think everyone else who is alive still has three lives, which means that theoretically this, this is the this is the final three. Bino is popping off. It's only three players. It's only three players left. No, it's only two. Wait, personified Bino? Yeah, no, it's only two players left. It's these two. Okay, so it's personified on one life and Bino on three lives. Oh, oh, betrayal. Hold on. Personified was saying they won't fight and now... I think that's it. That's it. We have a winner. GG B now. All right, that was really fun. If you want to take part in these events when I host them in the future, join the Discord linked in the description and subscribe.